Tower thinking ideas stack. One rationale leads to the next in a package of Oreos. But can you find any problems with this stack? Experiments, parents, culture, they all add with your permission or pressure until your impressive worldview tower is so tall you can't see the bottom from the top where you live. When I was 13, I knew it all. It all made sense. This, therefore that, naturally, and everybody else was nuts. Then I turned 14. Last year's version of me was nuts, too. That tower was an embarrassment, but now I had it all figured out. Now I knew what was real, what mattered, who I was. I revised the tower's roof nicely. But what if I was wrong on a deeper level? I didn't want to think about it. I probably fixed it all. Then I turned 15. The winds and waves started pouring in, and the foundation and floors I thought sturdy started to crack. I patched them and tried to pass inspection, faking it so everyone around me thought I was fine and wise and admirable. But deep down, I was a ticking time bomb. Then I turned 17, and this... I was not prepared for this unscheduled demolition project. Nothing made sense. I had no filter, no mask, no way to cope. I was lost, overwhelmed, depressed. I almost died. Climbing lessons. Not only did I know nothing, I started to feel like I can't know anything. I was traumatized and scared of the heights of any tower that could fall. As I clawed at some other towers nearby, I questioned them. Well, how do you know that's true? I picked their foundations apart. I tore out the rubble of my own tower to get all the way to the ground and started over like my life depended on it, because it did. I thought back to climbing trees when I would ask my dad to lift me up to the first branch, but he said, if you can't get up by yourself, you can't get down by yourself. As I got old enough to reach, my dad would say, test the branches as you go. You don't want to be halfway up a branch when it breaks. Then as I sat at the top enjoying the view, Dad would shout up, three points of contact. If your hand slips, you'll be glad you were holding the other branches. These climbing rules were key to finding a worldview without risking another fall. Don't rely on other worldview foundations to be firm. I know from experience, I faked my inspections. But start with first principles and question the base assumptions. Try to break the worldviews to be sure they hold weight before leaning on them. Use logic and evidence and attack it. Don't put all your belief, identity, and certainty on one worldview, but hold several views to distribute your weight just in case one breaks. Dad gave me one other tip when I didn't know how to finish. Start with what you know. Logic principle. Logic and maths are like machines of rules and functions. They take inputs, process them, and give knowable outputs. With logic, you can disprove impossibilities and know some if-then truths. With the non-contradiction machine, you can say, there are no married bachelors. But if you plug uncertain reality inputs, then you will get uncertain outputs. In the above state machine for processing water, the IF conditions are not known. So always condition, if is true, then. Uncertainty principle. In physics, we can't measure a subatomic particle's momentum and position simultaneously. The particle is in superposition. It exists across an entire probability cloud, which ranks the possibility space. Its actual position collapses once we measure it, but when we do, we change its momentum, so that is no longer known. This shows humans have limits to what we can know about reality. So stay humble. Superpositional thinking. How to superposition. Hold all possibilities as possible. Weigh the merits of each. Data, logic, implications, arguable, holisticness. Lean on the position that can bear the most weight. Always ready to adjust. Nurture superposition. Explore, collect, and construct positions to add to the possibility space. Complete holistic positions, connecting reality to action. Test, stress, try to destroy every position branch to reduce risk. Deduce and eliminate impossibilities from the possibility space. Reload, I do not know reality, but I will never stop learning. I want to be the most reasonable person in the world. I will not define reality based on my feelings or protect a position. I will follow the evidence and logic wherever it leads. I will vow to change position often because I'm certain that I'm not certain. I will not identify with or believe positions because pride comes before the fall. I will carefully measure the best position rather than consider all possibilities equal. I cherish disagreeable debate to test what positions don't hold up. The mind, once stretched by a new idea, never returns to its original dimensions. I once thought enlightenment was a destination of knowing. Now I understand enlightenment is the method of stretching.